So hey there everybody, welcome to Prescott, Arizona. Welcome to the Granite Dells, that's where I am today. We're standing out in the absolutely beautiful Granite Dells of Prescott, Arizona. And today I want to talk to you about some of the recent announcements from the National Park Service regarding commercial filming in the parks area. So whether it's the National Parks, National Forest Service, BLM, National Monuments, Going forward, if you are looking to do video from one of the national parks, you might need, most likely will need a permit, even if you're an individual holding an Osmo Mobile 6 and using an iPhone 14 like I am right now. I'm not kidding. Um, back in October, a decision was overruled where the decision had said that that was infringing on some First Amendment rights of the person who brought the suit. Um, over the course of a year, they went back through this, and in the end, the ruling has been overturned. So if you were planning to go into a uh, national park site like the Grand Canyon or something, and you wanted to do some filming while you were there, you wanted to put some video up on YouTube, well, that is considered a commercial use. And what that means is that you need a permit. So you're going to need to pay a, some amount of money. Each of the parks seems to be different and you're going to need to pay out to just do the application you're going to need to pay if you get the permit etc now for a lot of youtubers out there who maybe are traveling the country sharing the national parks and national monuments and national forest service with the rest of us they've done a great service for us over the years they've showed us amazing places i did this way back in the day but it was just with still photography before youtube got big or anything but the bottom line now is that it's incredibly restrictive for someone, you know, just an individual or a couple of folks who would like to film in glacier, in canyon lands, um, you know, up in the Vermilion Cliffs at the Grand Canyon. These are all examples, you know, where you're going to need to actually put in a permit weeks or month in advance. You have to pay a hundred to several hundred dollars. Each of the parks is different. But in the end, it's very restrictive and it's really going to damage the travel folks who do a lot of YouTube videos. Now behind me, as you're looking around, right back behind me, that bad boy is Granite Mountain. So Granite Mountain is part of the uh, National Forest Service. And so your National Parks Pass works there. And by the way, over from that, we also have the world famous Thumb Butte in the background there, which is also National Forest Land as well. Basically, Prescott is surrounded by National Forest. We've got so many great recreation opportunities out here. But for the National Forest Service, does that now mean that if I want to film at Granite Basin, that I'm going to need to get a permit in advance? I've been researching this already, but I watched a great video from Jevin Dovey and Ian Corzine just yesterday, and I suggest it's down in the notes to go watch the video. Ian Corzine is a lawyer, and he actually has some great information on what this means to all of us. And in the end, what this means to all of us is the fact that you are gonna have to uh, apply for permission. Um, if you don't get accepted, tough, you're out the money and you don't get the permit. If you do get the permit, there may be other fees as well. You may have to have a person follow you around while you're doing the filming. You may have to also have liability insurance at the ready to show the uh, National Park Service that you're insured and that they're indemnified against anything that happens while you're in the park. Um, all those types of things. I watched another um, Ozark Overland Explorers. I think that was his name. I'll put that down in the show notes as well. But he looked into going to Canyonlands in the near future and the total that came back to him for his visit and for his doing video his one little video camera came to a tune of seven hundred and thirty dollars I believe now as a youtuber you might say to yourself hey rich you're probably monetized so it's no big deal for you you're gonna show these places you're monetized right now with the number of subscribers and the number of viewers that I have I average about a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars a month with my YouTube money so you know getting into a trip where you're gonna film for one day it's gonna cost you seven hundred and thirty dollars plus the trip out and all those other things for that gentleman who was gonna be doing his off-roading the, the uh, Ozark overland um, there's there's no way that I'd be shelling that out to every single one of the parks so I would just not be uh, filming in the parks anymore I think that's gonna be one thing that happens smaller channels people who are you know taking you on a journey they might just go ahead and skip past that national park rather than have to pay all these administrative fees now I do understand the need for um, for controlling um, 
commercial use in the parks. I get it. When you're talking about a 30 or 40 man team doing a, uh, an actual film, full film production with soft boxes, lighting, all of those great things, yeah, they're interrupting the flow of the overall park and the park services have to do special accommodations. So I get that there would be a commercial fee there. But I think one person like myself holding this Osmo Mobile 6, talking to you on an iPhone, bouncing around a little bit, um, somehow I don't think that this really gets in the way of everybody else and for the respectful and nice folks who are actually doing these types of videos they they're very aware of their surroundings who's around them and try not to interfere with other people's experiences so let me know down in the show or uh, down in the comments what you think about this it's very disturbing to me because it can change a lot here like i said prescott national forest right over there that's granite mountain thumb butte is just over that away lynx lake is right out there plus we have all these other great city parks so fortunately, I'm actually happy that um, the Granite Dells are not part of Forest Service and not part of the National Park System because this is such an amazing place to uh, film and hike and kayak and rock climb. And I'd hate to see such an amazing place shut down by rules like these. All right, everybody, we'll see you again real soon. Please let me know down in the uh, show comments what you think about this whole situation.